Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm your host, Kyle Boris, and this is Crunch Time. We're here to deliver you jokes, news, and more in a timely fashion. So before you go stalk your high school teachers on Facebook and complain about that girl in front of you who won't stop taking selfies with her pumpkin spice latte, why don't you hang out with us for a bit and enjoy the show? But first, let's start off with a segment I like to call, That's None of My Business. So Halloween, I love the holiday, but I'm not sure my wallet does. A recent study says that about $11.3 billion are going to be spent this year by Americans on Halloween-related merchandise. $11.3 billion. As a country, for one day a year, we're going to be spending $11.3 billion to dress like Miley Cyrus or a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. We're going to be spending $11.3 billion on overpriced Kit Kat bars that my mom won't even let me eat because the wrapping was teared the slightest bit. We are going to be spending $11.3 billion on decorations such as those fake spider webs that I'll walk into and start screaming at the top of my lungs because I'm so scared to death that the fake spiders attached to the fake web are going to crawl all over me. $11.3 billion that in the long run will ultimately just send me to the dentist because I have consumed way too much candy. Ah, us Americans, all we complain about is money, but we'll spend $11.3 billion on a holiday. It's not even Christmas, but hey, that's none of my business. I'm Jana Jefferson. And I'm Maddie Smith. Let's take a look at the news you may have missed this week. This is our weekly update. According to a U.S. military dossier, Adolf Hitler required a variety of drugs while leading his army. One of them included the popular drug crystal meth. I mean, it's not his fault, though. He had no idea how bad it was. He did not see Breaking Bad. Get this, a Delaware man is claiming that he went to the Delaware Surgery Center in Dover to have a colonoscopy performed. While he was knocked out from the anesthesia, allegedly the surgeons placed pink women's underwear on the man. He woke up with the surprise and he was not happy about it. He's much more of a G-string type of guy. A Florida kindergarten teacher's assistant has quit her duties to become a twerking sensation on the popular video app, Vine. Jessica Vanessa has made several six-second videos of her performing the popular booty dance in nothing but a shirt and underwear, which reportedly earns her six figures a year. The children are not upset that she's gone since she was just an assistant. However, word on the street is the fathers of these children are devastated. A new report came out listing the worst cities to be in if there is a zombie apocalypse. According to the report, Newark and Chicago are two of the worst cities to locate to during the apocalypse. Newark residents are excited about a possible zombie apocalypse because it would probably make the city a lot safer than it is now. However, if you happen to be stuck in Chicago, you should go to a Cubs game because I'm pretty sure not even zombies will go there. A man is selling two of his friends on eBay. Funny thing, his two friends are imaginary. One of the imaginary friends, James, is supposedly very loyal and loves to talk politics and can be yours for a mere $150. Oh, wait, sorry, I just got word that the imaginary friends on eBay were just bought by Shia LaBeouf. Apparently he needed some more. Snoop Dogg and Iggy Azalea have called off their back and forth war of words on Twitter and Instagram in which Snoop said some pretty awful things to the Australian rapper. He then took this opportunity to apologize to the world for the whole Snoop Lion thing. A student in Britain recently got a tattoo of the quadratic formula on his butt to inspire himself to get a B or better in the class he was taking for a third time. The only thing that hurt worse than the tattoo that day was his pride. You know, it's that time of year when kids trick or treat, decorations are hung up, and everyone dresses up for Halloween. What better way to celebrate than with our resident Halloween cover band? Hello, thank you for having us. We are THE Vampire Weekend. Are you sure that name isn't already taken? No, we are not that rip-off band Vampire Weekend. They don't even have a song about Halloween. We are THE Vampire Weekend. Oh, okay. Uh, well, thanks for stopping by, guys. Well, thank you for having us. I'd give you a kiss, but you know, vampire kisses are usually a pain in the neck. Uh, 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 uh. That's quite all right. I love Halloween, actually. Uh, my favorite part is definitely the candy. What do you guys think? A mama's checking all my candies. It's, it's Halloween. Halloween. She's even taking all my smarties. It's Halloween. She should have taken all the Tic Tacs. It's Halloween. But now I got no good snacks. It's Halloween. Wow, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Um, I also like the costumes, but usually my friends always try to get me to be something sexy.
Hey, yes, it's true, you can dress like a policeman. Hey, you could be a cat too, oh, oh yes, yes you can. can. But those ideas will never come to plan. So dress like me and you'll be a wise man. Be a sexy maid with me. Cause that's all I need. There's nothing else I'd rather be. Be a sexy maid with me. Well, I know what I'm being now, but you guys really don't seem as scary as your name might imply. I'm so scary You already know I'm in a costume Going from home to home I'm so scary Can't you see this mask? Remember my face When I come to suck your blood uh, did you just say you're gonna suck my blood? Okay, well, I guess they're gone. Remember, if you see THE Vampire Weekend, you should probably call the police. That's all for this weekly update. I'm Maddie Smith. And I'm Gina Jefferson. Until next time! Ryan McAdams here for Crunch Time. Let's go get some reactions. Uh, did you hear about the MLB legend that's retiring this year? Yes, I did. Who's that? Dark Jeter. No, no one else. No. You don't you don't like Paul Konerko, Adam Dunn? Well, you know, I'm a Yankees fan, so I only care about Dark Jeter. Oh, that's kind of that's kind of single-minded of you, don't you think? Did you hear about the baseball legend that's retiring this year? Uh, Derek Jeter. Well, Paul Konerko and Adam Dunn are too. Never heard of them. Did not nothing for Konerko or Dunn? I don't really know what you're talking. I'm not. I'm not a huge baseball fan. I just kind of watch the game. I I can tell. Yeah. You're saying they're less important than Derek Jeter. Uh, yeah. That's not very nice. Well. Oh well. <laughs> Have you heard about the new iPhone, iPhone six? Yeah. Yeah, I've heard. Of it. What, what do you think? You gonna get one? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Well, do you, do you know how they're made? Uh, no, I actually don't. Child labor. Uh, I don't have any money. I, what about those glasses? You could sell those for the iPhone. I don't think I would do that because I can't see without them. So. The iPhone's pretty big. You could probably see it because it's like really big. It's the next big thing. Everyone has an iPhone. You don't want to be like everyone else. Nah, I mean it's it's the same thing every single time, you know. I mean this one's pretty big. It's it's bigger than the rest of them. Yeah. What phone do you have now? The iPhone 4. So you like iPhones? No. Well, you have one. <laughs> yes, but now that I have one, I don't like them. What are you gonna get now? I want to get the Samsung Galaxy. That that's just kind of copying iPhone, isn't it? it is. What phone do you have right now? I have the 5s. So you're saying you have an iPhone? I do have an iPhone, but just not one that breaks when I put it in my pocket. Do you know it breaks? I mean, the pictures are kind of the proof that it does. Do you, did you have one that breaks though? The six, no, but my fours broke. I don't know. <laughs> so so you believe everything you read online? No. That's kind of what you're saying. It's not what I'm saying. <laughs> you, you don't like the operating system? Isn't... No. What, what's wrong with it? I, I, I mean, it's, I, I just think it's the same thing every time. You already said that one. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, uh, I, it's... Uh, Dead air is bad for TV. Yeah, it, I, I agree, but I thought we were talking about... I'm glad we're on the same page now. Yeah, thank, thank you. Yeah, you got it. Well, thanks everyone for tuning in. I hope you all had as much fun as we did. Until next time, I'm Kyle Boris, and that was Crunch Time. <laughs>